In this video, we'll first see the actual bike. I'll, I'll explain you why I chose a mountain bike. I get a lot of questions about this. Uh, then we're gonna go through the actual equipment on the bike, and then we'll dig in to those bags. What's up, gang? My name is Dominic. Uh, I usually produce content in French, so I would like first to apologize to my regular audience. I just feel like this video could reach out to more people. Uh, before my trip, I've watched a lot of those bike check tours videos, so I just feel like it's a way for me to give back to the community. So my name is Dominic. I am actually pedaling from Victoria, British Columbia in Canada to uh, hopefully one day Ushuya in Argentina. I'm almost at 10,000 kilometers. So I'm pretty dialed in with the bike setup I have. So that's why it took me a little while before doing this video. But I feel like I'm ready to show you exactly what I have on the bike. It, hopefully this can help you out uh, for your future bike packing or bike touring trip. So we're going to start by talking about the actual bike. Full disclosure, I ride for Da Vinci. So I had to choose from their lineup. Kind of considered a gravel bike at first or a touring bike. But uh, I'm a mountain biker. My roots are mountain biking and uh, I kind of wanted on the way to uh, be open for anything and uh, I did some of the Baja Divide and on the way I also did some mountain biking so basically a mountain bike platform is what I needed and I don't regret my choice it's obviously a little bit more heavy a bit slower on the road but here I am in El Salvador already almost 10,000 kilometers so pretty happy with the setup so I went with the Da Vinci Cobain it's a aluminum frame it's actually made in Quebec in Canada and uh, the bike is actually a 29er mountain bike we're kind of like a really like open enduro geometry the bike is actually 107 pounds 107 pounds that is really heavy but everything is solid and this includes like a three liter of water which is usually the average of water i carry and a bit of food for one day as well so we're gonna go through the actual equipment on the bike to be comfortable uh, I actually went with bar ends here. So basically most of the time I, I'm here, if I want to relax, I've got those anal bars here. Can also go in the middle. Uh, so it gives me a bit more options to be more comfortable on the bike. I also went for a quad lock, a uh, cyclo, you know, just to handle my phone. Usually it goes here and uh, got my mirror here. The mirror is probably the cheapest thing I bought, but the thing I like and use the most. Uh, I usually never had a mirror before. And basically on those roads, especially in Guatemala where the chicken bus were like so close to me, I had a few co close calls. Having the mirror made like a huge difference because I could anticipate what was going on in the back. This is great. I really, really suggest you guys put a mirror on your bike, no matter what bike you have. Then if we keep going with the cockpit, I got a Garmin here. Uh, although I use a map out on my iPhone for uh, the actual routes, like the mapping, this actually is just like for my actual like uh, stats basically i got a tool here from one up components right here so really easy plugs are ready to go i had probably 10 or 12 flats on this on this trip already but this little guy is awesome it's also like a melty tool it's got a chain link i got two water bottles here uh, this one has electrolyte all the time this one is for water it gets super hot, like especially in Central America right now, super humid, so I do drink a lot. Extra water bottles here. So this is 48 ounce, so that's like one point, almost 1.5 liters of water. I've got two here. So usually I start a day with those full, three liters plus those. It's like almost like four liters and a half of water. On the Baja Divide, sometimes I had to go for one day, two days, even like maybe three days. The max I carry was like 10 liters of water. If I went for 10 liters, I would actually use this frame pack here. I don't have it right now, but there's a hydro pack you can buy. You can add for like three liters and have the straw right here. As I'm going, I can actually drink. Uh, haven't been using since I got to Mexico. Mexico is so easy to get water and food. Like there's tiendas everywhere. So it allows me to carry less, less food, less water. So a little lighter on the bike. Since I open up the frame bag, we'll see what I have in here. This is my ring cover for like the front here because I have all my electronics in the front. So. If uh, it rains a lot, I put the rain cover. Got my gloves. For a little while, like on the trip, I was not wearing gloves, but the sun is so bad that I started using gloves in Mexico. I have this uh, Abyss lock right here, border light. Really, actually really light. It's like, I think it's a pound, 1.1 pound. So super 
um, solid lock, super secure, but really, really light. And I've got my uh, little like equipment, my pans here, just for cooking when I'm camping. And I got a raincoat here, like it's a windproof jacket, ready to go. So this is what I have in the frame. If we keep going um, here on the top tube, I'll show you what I have inside. So I have my uh, AirPods here. I like to listen to podcasts and music when there's not much traffic, <laughs> when I'm not risking my life with cars and buses. Um, I actually have like a, a, a USB, so I can actually recharge my Garmin here because this thing is connected to the hub. This is a Sun Dynamo hub. So when I'm actually riding, this uh, provides energy. So for my light here in the front and uh, for USB. So. I want to say like I don't recharge my phone with it. It's not enough. It's not sufficient. But you can actually easily recharge a cycle computer or recharge a battery pack uh, while you're riding. I don't always have the lights on. Sometimes I do, but it's about six watt, so it's not too bad. But it still like takes energy. Um, so I usually turn the lights off during the day. Uh, but what I need is sometimes like in tunnels or when there's a lot of traffic or when it's like rain. End of the day, I turn the lights on. That little pouch here. So in this little pouch here, I carry bars, just uh, easy to eat as I'm going. So I can actually, I don't have to stop. I can just open up the zip. But I also have my Leatherman knife, knife, like super, super handy. I think I use this guy like every day. Fortunately, I have lost two of them on the trip already. This is my third one. Um, super handy though, expensive. But worth it I got, the model i have is like the wave plus i got uh sealant here then liquid sealant on the other side i've got sun cream i also have zinc been surfing a bit here so glad i have it but i also been using it for my nose because sometimes like the sun is really hard really powerful this is pretty much it for the front if i go back we got my bags here the frame bag is done oh yeah <laughs> this this is actually for muslix so i eat cereals every day in the morning with yogurt or hot water. This is a uh, gas bottle for my stove. I'm using the, the MSR Whisper Light, super cool stove because you, it needs gas. So basically I've started with white gas in the US, but as I go to Mexico, it's hard to find, but you can stop at any Pemex station or gas station everywhere. Just put gas in it and it'll burn. It, it burns everything, so really easy. Got a tube here, an extra tube with a CO2 cartridge. Never, never used it. Like I said, like tubeless, been awesome. So it's still there, it's nice to have a spare, but I hope I'm not gonna use it. For this uh, third and last part of the video, we're actually gonna go in the bag. So I'll start with this one here. I have a color code here. So basically green is uh, for food. I thought veggies, fruits, green. It is just easier because sometimes you take the bags off when you camp or you go to a hotel. So like which bag is what when they're closed. So I've got like yellow in the back for camping, white for clothes, and the other one is red. For my stove. Those bags are waterproof. They're made by Arkel. They're in based in Quebec and it's 35 liter the pair. So pretty much 17 liters per bag. What do we have in here? So I got the peanut butter. Peanut butter is great. I love it. And you can have it in the morning, dinner, snacks, at night, whatever. This is some extra that I just bought here because I'm almost out here. Um, I got my electrolytes. Like I said, super important. You want to mix water with electrolytes. This is just small powder because it gets really hot. So you need to stay hydrated, especially here in South America. And this little bag, what do we have here? This is Guru, <laughs> also a sponsor. <laughs> Thanks guys. I had like a Guru in every country so far. This one is uh, for my fruits. I, I, I use those dry bags, by the way. Uh, it allows me not to use like plastic bags. I always leave with an avocado in the morning, banana for either like the snack or uh, you know breakfast. And I have like a reusable uh, plastic uh, foldable uh, container here. It's actually rubber, it's not plastic, but there's probably a bit of plastic in there. And I have this little guy here to cut some uh, stuff. Super light. And what do we have here? Oh, this is actually really cool. It's uh, just like a small bag, but easy to fold, put it in my pocket. So when I get to like groceries, I can actually just use this instead of plastic bags. Got more electrolytes and a little cloth from GSI just to wash my uh, dishes. And that is what I have in this bag. Oops. First bag done, we're gonna go to the other one. Oh, by the way, since we actually see the setup here, this is old man mountain racks, the divide, heavy, but so solid, so solid. And it fits on the axle. I think it's one of the best, probably the best rack you can have for a mountain bike. Been using Talfin here as well, adapters. to actually set up a, a cage here, cargo cage they call it, so I can actually attach this bottle. So that is really cool to have this extra storage for water. We're uh, gonna open up 
get a one. This one is red. The reason why I went for red is just because the stove is in there. So stove, fire, red. What do we have? Oh, this pouch. I have a spoon. It's like a rubber silicone spoon. So it's really easy to actually uh, make a clean job when you actually eat because once you're, when you're camping, you don't want to use a lot of water. So this is actually really cool because it's almost as clean as if you have washed it. But uh, yeah, I really suggest one of those. This is uh, from, uh, who does that? GSI as well? Yeah, so I, I think it's called a Java, Hava, Coffee, Mocha, something. Uh, so it's basically for coffee. You just put the coffee here with hot water and you got coffee in the morning. But before coffee, I have my ginger curcuma mixed with hot water as well, just to say, stay hydrated. It's a anti-inflammatory. I uh, got fork, spoon. Oh shit, man. This is it. I, a lot of people laugh about this, but I love the thing. It's USB. It's a, uh, for milk, for frothing the milk. I actually sent a bag this full back home. Like closing I didn't need. I, I, I brought a bit more stuff on the way, but the stuff you're gonna see here is what I need. And wouldn't have less, wouldn't have more. So this is, for me, the perfect setup so far. Coffee, more coffee, some extra bags. Priores, rice, and this is, uh, TVP, so I add those in my tacos. And this is the actual stove that I was talking about. Got it here. So if I'm not mistaken, it's the MSR Whisper Light. I like this model because there's actually, you can actually tune the gas. So it's not always like full on or full off. Food pack, an extra cutting board as well, but been using this guy most of the time. This is it for the second bag. We're gonna go in the back. One thing I like about those bags, they're really easy to pull out. So yellow for camping, I don't know, for the sun, camping. What do we have here? There's a lot of stuff. Those bags are really heavy. So what I found out through the trip is like, I want to put the most heavy things in the back. Kind of notice when there's heavy stuff in the front, it's like more unstable. This is just uh, one of those like travel belts, cloth just to you know wash stuff. Toilet paper for camping, really helpful. Those are locks for hostels. This is where I uh, store my GoPro. I got the chest strap as well. This is a small uh, day pack, little backpack that I can unfold. Pillow, little adventure, medical kit. This is all my cables, like for my computer, for my drone, my cell phones. So I got two pairs of 35 liters. And some people ask me sometimes if I would go for 45 because Arkel makes the Arkel model in 45 liters. And I say no, because the more room you have, the more volume, the more stuff you'll bring. So this is my sleeping mat. It's a four season. The R value is 6.9, I believe. It's a Thermares Neo Air X Therm, if I'm not mistaken. This is a sleeping bag. Uh, I'm not too sure what the model is. I'll write it down. I can't remember. You can sleep still comfortably to minus six. And this is a liner, a silk liner. So you put it inside your sleeping bag just so you don't have to, because sometimes you're a little dirty. So it is more comfortable as well. And since it got hot in Central America, I've been using only the liner, so I don't. I haven't been using the sleeping bag in a while. Water filters. I think those are the be free water filters. Oh, yeah. This is you know when you're camping, you need to hide your number twos. So this guy, titanium, really really light. Leave no trace, people. If you're camping, please. And this is a bag like full of straps. You know, like you never know what you're gonna need, but yeah, it's just full of little like Velcro straps and things that might come handy eventually. And uh, oh yeah, the computer. I got a MacBook Pro, I believe, 13 inch. So I put it in, in here. Sometimes I, I put it in here, so it always depends. I like to have all, all my value stuff here usually. Um, so sometimes I put this guy in. And once I walk into a supermarket or tienda, I can bring all the luxuries with me, including my passport and money and everything. I think I've got like an actual overview of my stuff that I uh, filmed in Mazatlan, Mexico. So you're gonna have a better view, but this gives you an idea. The fourth bag and the last one. Okay, this is clothing. So I got my sandals. This is just like elastic. I got uh, laundry soap. This is for mosquitoes. This is just to wash my face. I'm gonna use it right now because I'm sweating. It's so hot in here. Um, t-shirts, basically two riding shirts and this one that I keep clean all the time. So three t-shirts, that's it. Got those uh, shorts that I have here, two shorts, that's it. No bedding suit. So that's why people like see me with my underwear around the pool or at beach. So that's why I had a bathing suit. I sent it back home. This is a 
a dry towel. I actually cut it in two. Uh, so it's, a, it's basically long enough right now so I can put it on, over my waist, but just thought I would save a bit on space. This is one pair of fence. That's the only pair of fence I have. I got my toiletry and this is a dry bag with a tank top, pair of socks. I got three pair of socks in total, three pairs of underwear in total. I don't ride any chamois. The bibs that I have at the beginning of the trip, I gave it away just because it was so hard to dry them and I had like rashes and everything so i just decided to try with underwear only and it worked so the less stuff you have the better it is this is an extra pair of socks i have for uh, when it gets like a little colder i've used it in guatemala recently on on uh, volcano fuego it was really cold it was like minus two at the at the top so and i have like this is a Patagonia puffy when it gets uh, really cold this is a gore-tex arteryx uh, waterproof jacket this is a long sleeve, just like a warmer uh, long sleeve. And this is it. We have a pouch here. I'll go with you. This is actually winter stuff, I, I call it. Uh, so you got an extra merino long shirt. We got knee warmer. Uh, this is actually a mosquito head net. Haven't used that guy. Hopefully I'm not gonna use it too. This is a long uh, leg warmer, merino as well. Rain pants, cover boots, cold gloves. An extra tube that I can actually put underneath my helmet. That you can put like around your neck or your ears or whatever. And latex glove. There's one guy left, or actually two guys left. I have a uh, solar uh, rechargeable light here. Pretty cool, but it's worn out right now. It's got holes and everything, but still works. See, still works. This is uh, something I bought like on the way. Really cool because Usually I wash my stuff in the sink or something and I, I leave in the morning with my underwear here and pair of socks that I had like usually the day before and it, it dries. So pretty handy to have one of those. The bag is a Aero, I believe it's a 13 liter dry bag that fits uh, on the rack. And what do we have in the bag? The front light, rear light. This is actually for my helmet so I can put the light on my helmet. We got electric tape. Those are screw, a bunch of screws and spacers, a mix brake pads i went through already i think five pair of brake pads because the bike is so heavy and i've been through sand and you know tough conditions in, in baja as well so oh i'm so proud about this i hate to wake up in the night to go pee especially when it's cold and you're comfortable in your sleeping bag so this is like a hydra pack water bottle but uh, now it's a pee bottle um a vest orange vest i uh, suggested because sometimes on the road having this like gives you a bit more uh, Piece. The tent, I'm using a MSR Uba Uba two person tent. Like you can actually put all your bikes inside. And a foldable chair. This one is a Linux, it's probably the best and lighter and the most expensive one on the market. But it, I love it. I couldn't understand why at first, like I, I watched one of those bike tour videos. A lady said that she was carrying one. I was like, do I really need this? Yes, you do. Once you start doing wild camping, especially in Baja, like you're sitting on the ground. You've been riding all day, six, seven, eight hours. It's nice to treat, treat yourself with a little chair, you know, or crack the beer and like enjoy the sunset. So I really suggest it. Do we have something else? Yes, those are tools. So I have like extra tools like Loctite, Allen keys, more tape, uh, valves, extra valves, full wrench, all fits in here. And this is, oh, I haven't used this in, in a while. Oh, this is actually a cord. So it can always come useful, especially on the, in the States, like with animals, like bears, like, this is actually something you can actually attach on a tree to uh, put your food away from animals. The most I had to deal with were raccoons. They were a pain, but yeah. And this is a, a candle, a lantern actually. Put a candle in it and it will actually dry like the humidity inside your tent. We got one bag left and then we're gonna go for a beer close to the beach. Front of the cockpit here. As you can see, super easy uh, to take out. It's actually click fix so you'll find a lot of bags with this adapter so this is a garmin inreach mini it's a satellite if you uh, register online you can actually send your position to people so if i don't have cell phone services i'll text a few of my friends i should tell them hey this is where i'm camping tonight and there's this sos button so if things go sideways send an sos and whoever uh, is in charge in the area will come and pick you up, whether it's park rangers or police or whatever, or the army. Um, this is my, so usually I have my actual wallet in my pocket when I ride, and I've got an extra wallet here. So this is a bait, so there's a bit of money. So if somebody wants to rob me, I'll give this. There's like fake cards, like old credit cards. So spoon, super handy, and the bag, tripod. Been using this guy a lot. 
Um, I got a long tripod, which is right here, but it's kind of like, it takes a long enough, lot of time to set up. So I've been using this with this. There's always like a sign, like a rock, a tree, a fence or whatever. So I just put it on the side of the road. It's easy access. That's why it's in the front of the bag. I don't even have to like get out of the bike. I just put it there, circle back, film myself. And so this is really handy. Drone right here. So once I'm on the bike, it's super easy to take the drone out and um, take some shots. So I think like the drone deserves to be somewhere really quick. I got a bear spray, bear spray here. Never use it. I hope I'm not going to use it, but it's nice to have if it's not for animals, maybe for bad people. Uh, Kindle. I love to read and carrying books on a bikepacking bike touring trick doesn't make sense. It's just so heavy. So this one's got like 100 books. I got my battery pack, paper to write, Kleenex, and those are like baby, whatever, wipes. And this one's got my passport, extra money. By the way, I've got money in my shoe, money here, money in my wallet, money in the back, like money a bit of everywhere. So just in case something happens, at least I'm not stuck with no money. I think we're done. I think we're done. Yes, we are. The only thing I didn't show is, uh, in this water pouch here, I got uh, my GSI outdoor stainless cup, really handy. I don't know how many times I stopped to get some juice and stuff like that. And they always give me plastic uh, cup, you know, a coffee shop, whatever. So I like to have this one really handy, easy to take out. If it's in the bag, usually you won't, you won't go for it. So nice to have this one handy. I think we have uh, covered everything, most uh, of it. If I forgot something, I'd say 99% have been covered. Yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed. Usually, like I said, usually I, I put English content, uh, but I've been like documenting my trip. So I put every, for every state I go, every country is like one or two episodes. So I invite you to check out the videos I've done already. Some of them have English subtitles. Um, if I can end this video with, uh, with some tips is like, you know, there's a lot of preparation to do prior to the trip, but uh, depending where you start, um, you know, there's always probably like I, I started in the US. So there's a few places where I could easily send back stuff. So try to, obviously take the least possible because the more items you have it's not only the weight but also you're gonna have to take those items out and in of the bag so the more items that you have the more you're spreaded especially when you're camping it's a learning curve there's a lot of stuff that i had at first that i sent back home but this is for me everything i need for a one year trip between victoria and patagonia so anywhere between 40, 40 degrees celsius to minus six. Um, so I think it's a pretty good example of the equipment you need for this kind of trip. Hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, you can write me on Instagram or in this comment in YouTube on the YouTube video. Like, subscribe, <laughs> put a comment just to, uh, to help me out, to support me. Thanks again to all my sponsors and uh, happy riding. Cheers.